The use of impersonation serves as a tool to emphasize and critique Kamala Harris's political positions and popular figures. Humor and ridicule often reflect deeper social anxieties and the process of personal identity formation. This phenomenon highlights how satire becomes a means of addressing political grievances and a coping mechanism. All right, let me know when, when to start. Now? Hi, Michelle and Barack. Do it, do it again? Okay. Well, look who it is. It's Big Mike and Barack. <laughs> oh, crap. All right. Uh, take 49. Oh, thank you so much. And, you know, your endorsement means so much to me. Even though I didn't have it the first time. Yes, the time to act is now. Now is the time to act. And I will be doing what we promised we will be doing. And that time is every day. Doing what we had to cut. They said to cut. I was trying something different from unburdening what has been. That was your direction. I think the American people are coming around to it. <laughs> Michelle, this is the 73rd take. All right. I have to get off my feet. You know, my knees are killing me. They're working knees, you know. <laughs> it is my honor to receive your endorsement. I consider you both great friends. You have taught myself and Joe everything that we need to know about transparency. And I will lead with full transparency in this presidential campaign. Cut. Yeah, we got it. That's a wrap, folks. <laughs> Kamala Harris impersonators and their humorous critiques underscore skepticism and criticism of her political stances and public persona. Este Palti's impersonation exemplifies satire, exposing perceived superficiality and practical deficiencies in Harris's leadership. This trend signifies that humor and satire function as expressions of social unrest and methods for individuals to affirm their identity amid political polarization. Such impersonations use humor as a coping mechanism and a tool for social commentary, helping people navigate the political landscape and define their positions within it. Humor and satire are employed to tackle complex political and social issues, with impersonations humanizing and critiquing Kamala Harris, rendering her more relatable and vulnerable. Este Palti's success on platforms like TikTok illustrates a significant public appetite for content that humorously engages with political figures. Repeated attempts at perfect impersonation both respect and criticize, aiming to capture Harris's persona. Public reactions to this content are likely to be polarized. Supporters of Harris may find these impersonations disrespectful, overlooking her achievements and the serious issues she addresses. Conversely, critics view the satire as a legitimate form of political commentary that highlights Harris's flaws. Mock support and exaggerated criticism play into existing biases, reinforcing viewers' preconceived opinions.